Hey guys, my name's Shinsei, aka ED Quick Jap or EDQ Jap, and welcome to my second episode of Spawn Snipe, which is the second season from my spawn sniping from Modern Warfare 3. In this little series, I show you ways to get early kills and first bloods in all the multiplayer maps from Black Ops 2, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you through the map Yemen. The link in the description will take you to a full screen size image of Yemen, which I scanned from the official Black Ops 2 guide I bought. And it's got all the details about spawns, HQs, and domination spots and all that. And before we start, I'd like to give a shout out to Rice Bryce TV for winning the funniest comment challenge from the last episode. So your channel will be featured in the top right hand corner of this episode. So anyway, we're going to start things on the attacking side spawn. And that's if you're playing search and destroy or demolition. Or where the A flag would be in domination. And this first spot is almost a guaranteed kill if you're playing domination, but works in any game type really. You just need to jump onto them barrels, then onto this wall, then... You can see the stairway through the window where the enemy funnels through after the capping the sea flag. This next spot is almost another guaranteed kill, especially if you're playing search and destroy. And what you're trying to do is stay as hidden as possible to take out enemy snipers that run into that balcony. They'll hardly be able to see you from this position and they probably won't be expecting this one. This next spot is slightly more of an aggressive route, but it's a good spot to take out enemy rushers that are trying to run straight across the map. And you can use this blown up jeep as a nice bit of cover. Also remember running with your pistols out will always be quicker than holding your sniper so remember to keep that in mind. And from here you can keep an eye on the middle broken wall of that building and the top sniping balcony at the top there. And now I'm going to show you a few first blood spots for the defensive side spawn near where the C domination flag is. And this first kill is really good if you spawn on the furthest left hand side of the pack and that means you can run to this spot the fastest. All you want to do is run to the left hand side and stop just at the end of this broken jeep. And from here you can see the enemies that are running out of that little tunnel on their spawn side. But you've got to be really fast to get this kill. Now this next spot is effective if you stay in the shade and slowly peek out the doorway and kill enemy snipers that are behind that wall in the back. But you might get taken out, especially if your enemy using that spot I showed you from the offensive side. This is also a great spot to look over the B domination flag and you should be able to take out the enemies that have just captured the A flag. Now this final spot isn't the greatest, but it can still be effective, especially in Search and Destroy where you want to switch things up between the rounds. And if you climb up here, you can see the middle bridge where B Domination is and hopefully catch anyone that's rushing through there. And you can use the building to the right to hide yourself from the snipers in that window and pop out last minute to take them out. And that's it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it useful, please leave a like because then your friends will see it too. Last episode almost got 2,000 likes, which is insane. I'd like to thank ED Jonesy for helping me out with this episode, and don't forget to leave a funny random comment in the comment section below for the chance to be featured in the next episode. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Peace!